Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So, Errol Spence was recently on a radio show, uh, Shady 45, uh, Sway, and he had a lot of choice words for Keith Thurman. He basically said that Keith Thurman, if he were to fight him, he would knock him out. Simply because Keith Thurman has been knocked out before, and he has been knocked down on numerous occasions in the amateurs. This is something I hadn't heard before. I'm not sure if it's true. If anybody's got some articles or some video footage, do me a favor and send them my way and we'll make a nice little video about Keith Thurman. But until then, I'm going to go ahead and roll with the story. Now, Keith Thurman, we've seen Keith Thurman get hurt in the ring before, haven't we? Luis Colazzo most recently. Um, Diego Chavez was beating his ass. So... Everyone's always wondering, what would happen if Keith Thurman fought Errol Spence? How would that fight go down? Well, if Errol Thurman was able to get to that body, which he will, because it's only a matter of time before he starts delivering those body shots, Keith Thurman would probably break down. He would have to take a knee, just like Kill Brook, or he would get knocked out. On the other hand, Keith Thurman does have some really good footwork. He's got good speed. He comes in at angles. He has power. So that might frustrate Errol Spence, right? But this is what Errol Sp this is what Keith Thurman does. You see, it's all a game for Keith Thurman. He does this psychological warfare bullshit all the time, okay? Think back to the Sean Porter fight. Think about all the stuff he put Sean Porter through. Changing the date of the fight, getting into fake car accidents, fake injuries. You know, we can't believe Keith Thurman. He's a liar. All right. Now he's got this elbow injury that's going to have him out of the ring for, he says, six months. But we know it's going to be over a year before he gets back in the ring. He won't be back in the ring until sometime in 2018. Let's be honest, okay? He's going to have to train. You know, we don't know what Keith Thurman's doing or what he's capable of doing. But I'm tired of this guy fighting once, twice a year. It's looking like it's, well, he fought once this year. Well, he fought once last year, right? Damn, he fighting one time a year, just like his nickname, one time. And f for future notice, I'm not using that anymore. From this day on, Keith Thurman is not known as one time anymore. When was the last time he knocked somebody out? It's been a minute, right? Yeah, no more one time. I'm not calling him that no more. It's just Keith Thurman, okay? You don't get a nickname until you start knocking people out again, Okay? Because you sure didn't knock out Danny Garcia, and you sure didn't knock out Sean Porter. So I ain't trying to hear that. I don't care what he did to Luis Colazzo. All right? You stopping people on technicalities and shit. I want to see someone get knocked out to where they can't get up off the ring, and they're convulsing on the ground. That's a knockout. Not some stoppage shit, all right? Keith. Motherfucker make me sick. And y'all love Keith Thurman, too. For whatever reason, he's weak as shit, man. He don't even, he's not even that nice. He's not even that nice, man. He be struggling against his opponents, man. Like, come on, man. I'm, I'm just I'm just fed up with Keith Thurman. All I want this dude to do is just fight some more, man. Just fight more and stop lying about your injuries. But anyway, Errol Spence feels like he could knock Keith Thurman out. I mean, he's been knocked out in the amateurs. I love to see a tape of Keith Thurman getting knocked out. Or, or knocked down. Uh, Keith Thurman hasn't really said anything about this. But I mean, if we're looking back, let's look. Let's take a stroll through memory lane here. Because Keith Thurman, he's been talking shit about Errol Spence. He's been talking shit about Errol Spence for a long time. But you know, when you get in Errol Spence's presence, he looks shook as hell. I mean, go back to that Showtime interview where it was Tank, Errol Spence, and Keith Thurman. As soon as the dude asked, Keith Thurman about Errol Spence, he want to start stuttering and backpedaling and well, well, uh, uh, that's definitely a fan. Uh, th that's definitely a fight the 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 fans want to see. And you know, as your champion right now, I'm happy to make you ain't happy to make shit, dude. Looking all scared when Keith Thurman when when Errol Spence staring you in your eyes, looking for an answer. Fucking shook, dude. You was shook as fuck. You know, ever since Errol Spence came on the scene, man, it's been. All business with you, right? Shit's disgusting, man. Um, Keith Thurman is just... 
I don't know. I want to see that footage. I want to see an article about Keith Thurman getting knocked down, knocked out. I'd love to see it. Because then we can have some more fun with it. As far as Keith Thurman's concerned, he has he's gonna be able to duck Errol Spence for a while. He's gonna have he has a mandatory for the WBA, one for the WBC. I mean, he owes Sean Porter a rematch. Um, Lamont Peterson is someone that the WBA wants him to fight. I don't know what's going on with that. So he's gonna be he's gonna be tied up for a while. I mean, Danny Garcia wants a rematch too, so he could just play those, and that's what. If he really does that, if he really fights those three dudes, that's three years of fights right there, man. Since he just fights one time a year. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all side with this dude. He don't, he don't, he's not even giving y'all, like, he's not even giving you guys a library of work. He's fighting once a year. He's, he's like the carnival. He's only there once a year, okay? That's cool. Y'all keep rooting for Keith Thurman, man. Because one day he's going to get his ass knocked the fuck out on free TV since he liked to fight on free TV. He's going to get fucking embarrassed. Errol Spence will come along and fuck this dude up. So you let me know what y'all think about Keith Thurman getting beat up and knocked down, knocked out in the amateurs. How you get knocked out in the amateurs? You got on headgear, weak ass motherfucker. Your body weak as shit. You probably went down on a body shot, too. Probably couldn't even move. Probably couldn't even get back up off the ground. They probably got to get a fucking stretcher for your ass. Let me know what y'all think of that story, man. Um, I'll leave a link in the description box uh, to that Errol Spence interview. It was, it was uh, He's kind of boring, but um, I was just looking for the Keith Thurman part. So I'll leave a link to the video. Can't find it on YouTube. So I didn't want to drop the audio because I didn't want no problems with copyright infringement and shit. They love hitting people with strikes on this shit. So hit man boxing, drop a comment, uh, like the video, subscribe, or don't. I don't really care. So have a nice day. Goodbye. This world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities. But I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see. Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another. Oh, the contradictories. That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free. Most would say that's not normal, but for me, life is but a dream and your reality is what it seems. I'm sitting in the crib I found on Craigslist, staring out in space, scheming what my next move is. I'm thinking that it's time to move west. No idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying my best. Not exactly where I thought I'd be. Honestly, a nine to five never was in my dreams. I've been feeling all alone lately. Nothing I ain't used to since 88 as a baby. When I came up out the womb, everybody knew it was something special about me that fills a room. I never understood it, but my OG told me it's a blessing. I should use it to the fullest. And that's what I've been trying to do. But it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues. Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room. And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms. I'm in the midst of the world. I wish someone could see me. Surrounded by clouds, free me. It's like an endless dream. Leading to endless roads. I want to be free from this. I had a suicide dream about a month ago While I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go So I booked it, couple friends took it personal Like why you just up and go? Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude, bro It was unintentional Conversations with myself, I need a hospital I think I've gone bipolar Half of me is conservative and the other stoner I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl The temp is negative 18, yeah that's a cold world Janis Joplin that's playing on my Pandora station Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes Whole time, no, I gotta stop looking back Because the future's not a present, gotta get on I'm track I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I want to be free from this army of clouds